What's going on everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. Today we're going to talk about some of the major catalysts that's really going to send Baby Doge up to the moon and really give massive gains out to the Baby Doge holders. So we're going to talk about this. Definitely hit the like button and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you all want me to go over next. And also if you want to become a member of the channel, definitely go ahead and do that. I'll go over any crypto that the members want me to go over next. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Definitely hit that like button and subscribe. Let's talk about Baby Doge and some of the major catalysts that will send Baby Doge to the moon and give holders huge and massive gains. So let's talk about this. So yeah, first thing that we're going to go over, we're going to go over the technical analysis later. And uh, first, we're going to go over something else though. So the first thing I want to talk about here with Baby Doge is this 1.6 million holders. We just now finally hit 1.6 million holders in baby doge that's actually very good and actually if you look over here we have exactly 1,600,323 holders and yesterday we had about 1,599,284 holders so yeah we have a lot of holders inside of baby doge now 1.6 million holders whether or not people believe they're bots or not you know whatever but I think these are all real holders. We have so many holders here inside of Baby Doge. So 1.6 million, that's huge. That's the first major thing because look, when we get to 2 million holders, you got to think that's going to be really, really significant. That's going to be really good for Baby Doge when we actually reach 2 million holders. And also, if you look over here with Baby Doge, you can see that we're only down 5.8% for the day. I mean, it's not too bad. And if you think about it, we're only down 5.8% for the day because that huge pump that we had yesterday on the 9th. And now that you see us down from here, so I mean, it's still pretty good that we're not down as much as you would think, right? But also, another major catalyst for Baby Doge is this. So, the next thing here, the testnet is going to be going live in seven days. And if you have not retweeted this yet, go here and retweet it because they said Baby Doge is honored to announce the swap. And they said right here, we will launch a day early if this tweet gets 15k tweets or retweets. And also, it's supposed to go on live on Tuesday on the 15th of this month, which is only going to be in five days, which, I mean, it's not that bad. So, I mean, even if you don't retweet it, we're still going to get it inside of five days, and it's only going to be put out on the 14th if you don't retweet it. But, hey, either way, it's good for us. I'm really, really excited for this test now. I'm really excited for the swap all together. So, this is definitely pretty exciting. Now, I want to show a few other things here with the baby nose. Now, you can also see over here, uh, Ethereum up 8.7%. That's pretty big. Everything's kind of doing well today. So we're having some nice purchasing coming through today. And the only reason why Baby Doge looks like it's down is because the massive pump and the pullback we had. But really, all in all, we're up inside of Baby Doge. Now, if you look at it, it's not showing that massive dip that we had earlier yesterday. Now, when you hit the refresh button, now it's up by 4.8% because now we got that out of the way. We were like a minute behind. So yeah, we're definitely up inside of Baby Doge, 4.8% for the day. So that's definitely pretty good. And um, I'm definitely pretty happy with this. And also over here, 257 million for market cap. That's also pretty good. 12 million inside of trading volume. So look, we've been having so much trading volume for Baby Doge. Look at this, burning so much money. So much trading volume that eventually you can see right here, 77.82K 77 burned today inside of Baby Doge in the last 24 hours. And that turns out to be about 45.6 trillion Baby Doge. So that's actually pretty huge. Last seven days, 133K burned in Baby Doge, which is 78 trillion. So yeah, we've been burning lots of Baby Doge, so much Baby Doge. Now, also, if you look right here, it says $338 million dollars inside of our uh, inside of our market cap and the only reason why this shows about 257 million because i don't think uh coin gecko takes account in all of the market cap fully diluted so if you think about the fully diluted we're really up more than what they think we are but yeah this is really good for baby doge we're getting so many good looks for baby doge and look binance smart chain news they just keep talking about us every single day so they just keep making these posts about Baby Doge, and it's really good because a lot of people follow Binance Smart Chain News. A lot of people look into this. 545K followers, and that's just on Twitter. That's only Twitter. So I think there's a lot of good stuff that can really happen from this. A lot of good stuff is going to transpire from this. So I'm really excited to see what happens next because, you know, a lot more people go to the website than looking at the Twitter because they, they're just huge on Twitter, and they got all these ads and stuff. They're making money on this website. So let's talk about the next thing. So let's go ahead and back out of this. So yes, we are getting all of these different 
post for Binance Smart Chain News. You can see uh, they're talking about Baby Doge 198 quadrillion Baby Doge tokens destroyed so far, and Baby Doge growing over 600 percent because of that. And then also, you can see over here they're doing more and more posts every single time. They always talk about Baby Doge. You can see here 42 minutes ago which projects are getting more attention from the BNB community. The BNB community, the most people are getting are the most attention and the social engagement right now is safe when they're saying and then it's baby doge i guess they passed us a little bit there but yeah we, we have a whole lot going on for this so the next thing here is another post from binance smart chain news and this one says this it says despite the bad market condition these tokens have still performed a good price action in the last 24 hours let's celebrate the top daily gainers on bnb chain which of these do you hold so yeah, Baby Doge is up the most out of all of them, about 11.77%, and that was yesterday. So that was also a huge post by Binance Smart Chain News. And then over here, we got a professional hockey player, Zach Boychuk, and he is a pro hockey player, NFT trader, part-time meme collector, Ethereum Maxi, ambassador of Spreads C, and he does not give financial advice. So... This is pretty cool to see that we have a pro hockey player supporting Baby Doge. We have a pro football player supporting Baby Doge. We have so many different people supporting Baby Doge. So we, we got a lot of people. We got animal shelters supporting Baby Doge. We got presidents. I don't know. We probably don't got presidents supporting us. But still, we got a lot of people supporting Baby Doge. Now, the next thing here is this. It says adapt yourself a beagle. So you can't forget about what Baby Doge stands for. So if you want to adopt yourself a beagle, go ahead and do that. You're going to be saving dogs out here. And you're going to be helping Baby Doge. So look at this. Look at this little beagle here. How can you not adopt this beagle? They got 4,000 beagles right now. They rescued them from a breeder. So I guess the breeder was maybe have been mistreating the beagles. I don't know. But yeah, they're definitely really nice looking beagles. So go get you one of these little baby puppy beagles, one of these little baby doges, and yeah, adopt one of them. So the next thing though that we got to talk about is this. So baby doge coin highs for social activity. That's pretty good right there. And baby doge the number one BNB chain project on 70 gainers for the BNB masters. So there's a lot of a lot of stuff going on for baby doge. Now, like I said, we're gonna talk about the technical analysis here. So Let's talk about this. The first thing that you want to look at with the technical analysis is this. We're still bullish. So the 24-hour market control is still in control by the bulls by 80%. So that's all good there. You can also see over here, we still have some buying going on here on oscillator. All that selling that happened is now over. Now we're going through our buying phase again. But you do have to look at what's happening inside of Baby Doge. So right now, you are seeing that Baby Doge is getting rejected at that 1620 resistance, the supply and demand of less demand. We have less demand at 1620. You can see we were rejected at 1620 as well right here. Well, this is really rejected at about 1637. But still, we got rejected. We weren't able to get above there. And now you're seeing at 1620 is our new resistance in our rejection point so you're seeing that we're bouncing off of this red area here and that's about 1550 so that's our support so red area shows supply and demand of less demand so you're seeing our support here is now showing baby doge at that or going towards that 1550 so expect baby doge to hit 1550 again right now we're at 1598 so definitely expect that to come soon now it's kind of crazy how we had this big drop right everyone expected it to drop a little bit more even i did i thought hmm, maybe we're just gonna hit that 1250 support or get close to it nope that's not what baby doge did actually what baby doge did it bounced back with the rest of the crypto market because as you can see everything had a huge drop yesterday and since it had a huge drop you know baby doge had an even harder drop because we had a big pump as well so yeah after everything dropped yesterday everything came back today so yeah these are very volatile times when you see baby doge is down it's not down just because it's some rug pull or something like that it's down because the overall crypto market is selling down that's why you've seen baby doge starting to drop yesterday so also because some people were let down some people thought that the binance the the swap wasn't big news i definitely believe the swap is huge news especially staking farming all that come on now like this is going to be huge and look it's coming inside of about seven days and if we can just get this done like well now not seven days anymore because it's been two days so far but yeah this is really good news for us and on the 15th of tuesday we're gonna get that test net and if we can get 15k retweets then we're gonna get on the 14th so that's definitely gonna be pretty nice now also the next thing you want to look over it with baby doge is this so if we are going to continue to rise with the baby doge you're going to end up seeing it hitting that resistance that we stopped at yesterday or not yesterday but um actually yeah yesterday on the knife we did hit this area and we went all the way up here to about 
1890. So yeah, Baby Doe's pumped to 1890, and we could hit 1890 again. But you got to think, if it hits 1890, where are we going to go after that? Well, our next resistance after 1890 is up here at 2300. So we can get back to the two areas, the 8Z23, if we can, you know, pump past this resistance of supply and demand of less demand. If we can actually get past 1890 or really 1900, if you want to say that, then yeah, we're going to become bullish here and hit that resistance all the way up here at 2300. So that's going to be pretty good if we can actually do that. Now, you also want to think here about Baby Doge with the four hour chart because four hour charts long term, we are looking at the 15M chart, which is pretty short term. It is saying right here for the four hour chart that the 24 hour market control is in control by the bears by 80%. But I don't, I do not believe that's true. We're having a reversal here. You can see here on the four hour chart, we're just now starting to get buying volume here on the oscillator. So even though we had all this buying here, we're just now starting to get that volume showing up on the oscillator. And it shows as a very small amount. That's because this is the like the long term chart. So you can see it's just now starting to show up here. So this should be reversed to the bulls in control by 60% inside of a few. I don't know when or how long it's going to take, but it should reverse to show that the bulls are in control by 60% after we have, you know, a little bit of a rise or a rally. So we'll see that soon. And like I said, we're heading up here to this resistance. So definitely wait for that to happen. I definitely expect that to happen pretty soon. When? I don't know. But I do know that Baby Doge should be rising soon. But yeah, remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Just kind of speculating here with Baby Doge. Now, looking at Bitcoin, Bitcoin's pretty interesting as well. Because as you can see, everything in the crypto market is doing weird moves. Like they had a huge pump and then a huge drop. And now another huge pump. So everything is very volatile in the crypto market right now. So that's definitely pretty weird. But what you are seeing here with the Bitcoin, you're seeing that the bulls are in, in, in control of the 24-hour market control by 100%. So we're 100% bullish on the 15M chart. So in the short term, it's showing that Bitcoin is 100% bullish in the last 24 hours. So that's pretty good. Now, the oscillator is showing two oversold areas. So I always mention this. What comes after overselling? We always immediately have buying coming after overselling. Over here, buying coming after overselling. Over here, buying, coming after overselling, and you see it time and time again, buying, coming after overselling. So the reason why this is so important and significant is because of this. Look, we're at the peak of this buying area pretty much, and after we have buying areas, sometimes it does this where it has multiple um, waves inside of the buying, and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it just has about one wave and then has a drop, and just like over here, it had one wave and then it had a drop. So sometimes the, the buying pressure is like that. So what we're probably going to end up seeing is another pump because actually if you look at it here, we hit this support all the way down here, right? We hit that 22.7K support earlier today, and then we just pumped all the way from here. And then we hit another support here, which is about our 23.4K support, and then we pumped again. So technically, if we're going to speak in hypotheticals, then what you could see Bitcoin doing next is now maybe – pumping out of this resistance. So this red area is supply and demand or less demand, this resistance area, that's about 24.1K. So if we see that pumping past that area, the next area we're going to go up to is going to be the upside of this supply and demand of less demand area. And then that is definitely going to probably turn into a more demand area. So it's probably going to turn green after we pump past it. But yeah, what you're seeing here with this area is the resistance is set about 24.4K. And then you're seeing over here about 24.6K. So we got some areas to pass here with baby with Bitcoin. Also, if you want to look at the four hour chart as well, the four hour chart for Bitcoin is showing something a little bit different than the 15M chart. So you can see over here the 24 hour market control is in control by the bulls by 60%, whereas on the 15M chart, it was in control by 100%. So that kind of shows a little bit of a perspective here. And it looks like it's trading a little bit more sideways when you look at it from the four hour chart. So it kind of looks like we have more of a chance on our upside just because of we're literally on the upside of this sideways movement. So I think we have the potential to move up there. And you're seeing on the oscillator here, we are coming off a little bit of a selling area here and it's already peaked and it's kind of curving downwards now. So we'll really upwards and now it's going to probably start going into buying volume. So that's why I'm expecting to see some more buying coming into the crypto market pretty soon. Indicators are just showing that buying is more likely to come. Now, if you look at the next areas here, if we were to get all the way up here to about 26.6K, then the next area for baby or for Bitcoin would be 34K all the way up here. But yeah, this is pretty much all I got for you all today, though. 
Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Definitely hit the like button and subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section. And remember, if you don't have a Ledger Nano XRS, if it's not your keys, it's not your crypto, you're definitely going to want to go ahead and check out that link in the description. And as always, I'll be back with another video.